Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi there, Kevin, and I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And we are at the stove. Ralph, we're making a... Uh, legendary sandwich. Legendary sandwich from Louisville, Kentucky, called a Hot Brown. We've had a request, actually, to make this for uh, this for this program, right? And we've, we've always wanted to do these. We love these. So, um, uh, we are underway here we're making a sauce a white sauce that goes on top of the sandwich kind of like so, a, Mar a Mornay sauce yes so Ralph what I just did here I'll turn the heat down a little bit I just melted two tablespoons of butter okay and I'm adding two tablespoons of flour so unsalted butter and flour mm-hmm and we know that this is a roux right we've done this seems like oh seems like we make a lot of roux yeah. Um, for a lot of different dishes, but this is basically going to be what will thicken the, uh, the, sauce. the sauce. Okay, so that's your base. Yes, now we're going to cook this. You can see it's white. It'll slowly turn a little deeper brown. We're going to cook this for about two minutes, okay? Getting that nutty, nutty Can you smell it? Aroma. Yeah. yeah. So here's what else is going in once that's the roux ready. I got two cups of heavy cream, okay? Wow. Heavy cream, so not milk. Two cups of heavy cream. It looks like you could stick a, stand a fork up <laughs> in it. <laughs> then I've got a half a cup here of uh, Romano cheese, okay. okay? Half a cup, got it. And then this is just salt and pepper and a pinch. Just a pinch. A pinch of nutmeg will go in, okay? So what I'm working on now is Take a look, and I don't know if the camera can pick it up. The color change? Yeah, we should put a light over the stove. You can see how it's kind of gotten a little tan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go another 30 seconds with this roux. And even as I stir, I think you can, I can actually see it getting a little darker and darker. Okay. It sure smells good. And then what we're going to add in next is our heavy cream. I've had this out for about a half an hour. I want to take the chill off of it. Okay. And in it goes. All at once. Okay. All at once. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir this together because as this comes up to temperature, it will thicken All into right. our sauce. So, you know what? I'm going to keep at this because I kind of got you kind of got to keep the stir going here. And we'll come back when it's uh, starting to simmer and thickening, uh, thickening up, and then we'll get our sauce finished off. Mm, diet sauce. This is um, hey, a really a great sandwich made under a broiler. Okay, you have nice bread. Turkey's your meat. You have this delicious sauce. Okay, it's an open face sandwich under the broiler called yeah. a hot brown. Um, tomatoes. And um, Did you say turkey and bacon, Tur and then bacon. Yeah, so we'll put it all together. It's really delicious. Uh, but you can also make it, you know, uh, for a crowd. It dates back to uh, a hotel in where was it? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, back yeah. in the twenty mm -hmm. in the twenties, uh, one of the chefs there came up with this uh, sandwich to kind of keep everybody uh, coming back for more. I think it was. Um, I think Brown was the name of the hotel. Actually. Yes. So, anyways, great history, a total American creation. Uh, come on over, over here, here, Ralph. And look how, you see how that's nice, getting nice and thick? And, sm and kind of smooth. It's yeah. kind of silky kind of uh, texture. I was joking, of course, calling it the diet sauce because it's all that heavy Every whipped cream, cream and butter. And butter and all the good stuff. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's also, you know, it is a high-fat sauce. Um, and it's also a high flavor sauce. But we're gonna health it up by putting tomatoes and uh, turkey. Yeah, meat. we'll have our vegetable and our lean meat. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit now that it's kind of bubbling. You see, Ralph? And I'm just gonna cook it for maybe another minute or so. And we have to season it, so we, that means we have to do our salt and our pepper. I was giving folks a shot of the uh, the Calvinator. Or the cabinator as yeah, that's that's this uh, this year's stove, this so year's we're model. really enjoying it. And it's a beaut. Um, we are so glad to be making this finally. Um, it's been on our list a long time, and one or two people actually asked for it. But this, like so many American recipes, 
is our very our our edition of our it. take of it exactly. I'm sure somebody who maybe even one of our friends from Louisville can educate us on if there is a more authentic way to make this. I'm gonna take this off the heat now, Ralph. Okay, that so we've yeah. reached the, the, the nice stage. yeah the nice thickness of it. I'm gonna take her off the heat. And now we're going to add in our cheese, and that will just melt away, okay, mm -hmm. from the heat of the sauce. See, look at that, Can it's you already use, gone. Um, Parmesan or anything besides Romano? Mm, yes, you could, um, but this is the very, again, I think, I think this is the Romano is sort of the traditional recipe. I'm going to put in a pinch of salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon or so. Let's do a couple grinds here of some nice black pepper. And then again, the nutmeg, and this is part of the, but I'm just going to put it in my hand just first. A just amount. a tiny amount. Just so that it's just sort of way in the background. Okay. And we'll mix that. Now, of course, let's just make sure that we're on track here. Ooh, that's good. Always taste as you go. We give a little bit more salt. Because you used unsalted butter, so sometimes you have to make up for that. But I think that is just good. Okay, wonderful. All right, now what you want to do is you want to get yourself an oven proof dish, some sort of a baking dish. I'm going to give this a quick little spray uh, with some non stick. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with our bread. Now, you could use a thick cut bread like a, a Texas toast um, or, you know, some kind of uh, country bread, country white bread. Sometimes right. they call it like a farmhouse white right. bread. But we're using a Michigan millet. <laughs> we're using a ciabatta bread here. Okay. Oh, okay. That is what we are using, che sir. Chewbacca bread from Star and Wars. We're gonna do it like this here. Yeah. But this is kind of a little crusty. Yeah, it's 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 uh, good to have a, a hearty bread. Right. You know that can take the uh, ingredients that are gonna be placed on top of it and um, the, the the broiling and all that. So now now I'm, I'm doing. I like how area it looks. I'm doing it all together in one. You know, if you were doing an individual. Or whatever you could. Oh, you're doing almost more like a casserole as opposed kind to of. separate sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I've got some nice turkey breast here that we got at the at the deli. Uh, I had them cut cut it a bit on the thick side. Um, I'm going to put a couple slices of this nice turkey across each one of these pieces of bread. You with me so far? Yeah. Okay. That one tore, but we're all right. So, so the turkey goes right on the bread. Yeah, I had the guy at the deli cut them on the thick side, which okay. is sort of what you want. And, yeah. um, this is a pound. You know what? We're gonna, just going to use the whole thing because it looks like... No sense it's saving. Well, and I'm only going to have one piece left over. So, you know, who are we kidding, right? Let's do it like this. We will. We don't have the appetites of children. We can grow Okay, so grow there. Appetites. Okay, so there's our turkey. What goes on next? Next, we're going to take our tomatoes. I've got, these are Roma tomatoes, and we're going to kind of put these around and on the side here of our nice, I kind of cut them lengthwise, Ralph, you see? But we're going to yeah, just, just kind of put those in here as well. You just want to make sure that every bite Gets a tomato. Gets a tomato. Let me let me do a quick hand rinse here, and then we're gonna get our wonderful sauce that we made, and we want to put this sauce. Look at this. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. Yeah, and you wanna, that's it, we wanna get that sauce, because we kinda... It's a real, 
red and white kind of concoction, and it looks great on this red and white tablecloth. It's an American original as we're listening to a music of country uh, nature that is a uh, true American original artists. It's perfect for with this tr- totally American dish. Now, you just you just look at that. All right, so okay. I've got another half a cup of cheese here, and we're gonna just sprinkle that on the top. Now, Ralph, this is a broiler kind of a deal here. So if you were doing them as individual sandwiches, you could put them in a pan, uh, like a cooking pan or sheet, and then just put each sandwich. Yeah, I mean, it has to be, you have to, you have to put it on something that will be able to go under a broiler. Right. Or something oven proof. Like a a cooking sheet. Mm -hmm. So, we've got the broiler on here, and I'm going to... Slip her in there, and we just want uh, that to kind of get nice and bubbly and brown on oh, the top. Yeah, like, okay, like when you're doing um, like a, what is that uh, croque madame or croque monsieur? Exactly, exactly like that. So we're gonna um, let this sort of get bubbly, then we'll come back and we'll put the final topping on it, which will be some paprika, a little crumbled bacon, and parsley. And we'll have a hot. Wow. It's just yum, starting yum. to brown. Look at that. Oh yes. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take some of this bacon that I pre kind of cooked, cooked. and crumbled. Yeah. And uh, just want because I want that to bake into that sauce. So you just kind of sprinkle that on top and then put it back in the broiler. Yeah. And then we're gonna put it back under the broiler. There we go. That's some I think in another couple minutes she will be good to go. It's some yummy voodoo okay. going on there. Yes. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even know where to begin to describe how good this smells. Look at that, Ralph. Yum, that looks so good. And so, it smells so good. There's the, the hot brown. Now the only thing that we need to do is sort of do the garnish. So it calls for a little paprika. Okay. Tap a tap a paprika. <laughs> I love paprika. Yeah. So we'll put we'll sprinkle a little of this around. Okay. Okay. Then we have some nice parsley from our herb, herb garden. garden, which is the I think this is the first harvest of parsley. And that's the big parsley, that's uh, not, uh, what do they call that? This is uh, flat leaf or Italian style parsley. You know, I always debate every year which parsley to plant, and I tend to plant the curly, but this year I said, you know what, we're going to change it up. And we have friends who swear by this parsley. And let's, we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so now we are going to just let that rest for a minute. We'll come back and we'll bring out a nice piece of our hot brown. Oh, All right. So you can just kind of break into it with the yeah, if, spatula. Yeah, you know, I think by giving it a few minutes to sort of rest, lets it kind of come together. Now, if I can get it out of here, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Hot brown coming through. Pride of the Brown Hotel of Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know if the Brown Hotel in Louisville is still around, but if they're not, boy, did they leave a wonderful gift. So here we go. Bacon, turkey, the sauce. Thick bread, tomatoes, parsley, paprika. I don't think this is street legal. Uh Uh-oh. It's so good. We're going to have to call the cops on ourselves. (laughs) It'll be our secret. Let's share it with all our viewers on Cavalcade of Food. Thank you so much. You know what? Oh my gosh. You loving it? I'm loving every minute of it. I'm loving every, I'm still tasting the the turkey, the bacon, uh, that sauce. Mm. So you know what? We had a lot of wonderful gifts from Louisville. This is just one of them. Thank you to the Brown Hotel, to our friends in Louisville and people everywhere who requested that we do this wonderful hot brown recipe. We sure had a great time putting it together. Yeah, we did. We're going to have a better time eating it. Yeah, we are. you had a great time (laughs) being with us. 
And you know what? We'll see you next time. On right Cavalcade here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye-bye.